Hey there, this is Nolan Harris coming back at you with another digital character tutorial, this time in Sketch Club for iPad. So we got our wonderful subject here and I'm going to get started. Now, right now what I'm doing is I'm drawing with the pen tool, which can be found in the middle on the top panel. And uh, the pen is on the smooth setting. Basically what that means is every stroke I make, it is auto-corrected to be a little smoother, almost like a vector brush. Right now I'm on my bottom most layer, adding in a quick under sketch with the opacity down to 50%, as you can see on the bottom right hand slider. And now I'm going to one of my top layers to add in my line work. Uh, as I said before, I am in the pen tool. The pen tool has many different options. If you go to the top middle panel, you will find that the pen has about 12 different pens that you can utilize, uh, all to uh, a different effect. Uh, this one, like I said before, corrects a lot of your strokes and smooths them out. And um, and there's other ones that try to uh, modulate a line from thick to thin. Not with much success, but uh, they work all right. I just like this for my own personal preference. It just keeps everything looking really clean. Uh, as you can see, things are being sped up quite a bit here. Sketch Club is one of the only apps I've found where you can actually record your process in the app. If you go to the top right hand arrow panel, right next to the globe, uh, you'll find that you can actually record your process at varying speeds. Uh, a lot of people, I guess, don't like to see you draw at regular speeds, so they have options to speed it up. You can also add music and stuff. Um, and it's pretty cool. You can also export to your image, uh, your image gallery on your iPad, just like any other app, JPEGs, PNGs, PSDs, uh, which is also awesome. So as you can see, another feature that Sketch Club has that's really awesome is you can rotate your canvas and you can zoom in and out pretty easily. Uh, and what I'm doing now is I'm going with my color. I'm going, uh, you know, much like with the Art Studio app, I'm going into a layer that is below my line work. Makes it very easy to color. And I'm just using a regular brush. Uh, the brush can be found in the top middle panel. If you tap it with your stylus, you will find that there are many different brush options. This is the most basic one, and right now its opacity is set at 100%. So I'm just blocking in on my color right now, and uh, as a side note, there, uh, like I said with the brushes, they have air brushes for a soft value. They've got you know splatter brushes, all kinds of different brushes that you'll you'll really get a huge kick out of, especially if you like to vary your painting styles. As you can see, uh, it's very easy to correct a mistake or to uh, modify your image with this app. You just go to your original drawing layer and you erase and sketch over it accordingly. It's one of the beauties of digital. You can always fix your mistakes pretty easily. So now I'm going back into my layer window, still modifying this eyeball until I'm happy with how it looks. And then I'm going to go one layer above my color. I'm going to knock it down to multiply. And I'm going to use uh, some red. And I think right now I have my opacity set at about, uh, I'd like to say, 30%. Uh, you'll see later on that I actually knock it down to about 20%, uh, just because right now that, that shading is a little too bold for my liking, and I'd like to try and make it just a little more subtle. So I'm just blocking in my shading, just to flesh out the image to make sure it has a little more depth. And it's very simple, I'm just using my pen tool. Uh, it's the smooth option much like uh, what I use with line work. And one downside about uh, Sketch Club is there is no gradient tool, so you have to be a little creative with uh, how you lay your color in. There's also no lasso, no auto select, so you have to be very deliberate with your, your strokes. And now I'm just going another, line, uh, another layer above that, and I'm just adding in some very subtle shading with my brush, airbrush tool. It just gets a nice little smooth uh, gradient on there. And now I'm going with my highlights uh, using a different brush. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's more like, I think it's kind of like a wet brush. And uh, now I'm just adding in some highlights in the eyes to just breathe a little life into them. More highlights to the glasses. That's the topmost layer uh, just to add a nice little glare to it. And then I'm using another one of the mini brushes to simulate freckles. And of course you always want to sign your work, like any good artist. And then if you want to add a background color, just go to your bottommost layer. This one right here is the splatter brush, which uh, you know gives the appearance of some paint splatters. And then bam, there she is, looking good. 
Well, I hope you guys got a lot out of this. Remember Sketch Club 299. I would definitely check it out.